Here's everything you'll need to build flat tower. Well, we'll take away the slide potentiometer and the two ears that hold it. Take away some spacers. We'll take away the 100 picofarad capacitor. And we'll take away the sliding mechanism and talk about those later. Right now, we'll talk about the parts that build up the case. Let's start with the side that holds the in and out connectors. It is a one quarter inch MDF, three and a half inch wide by one and three quarter inches high. The other end of the case is a build up of two pieces of MDF. The bigger one is three and a half inches wide by one and three quarters, and the smaller one is three and a half inches wide by one and a half. Let's move the two quarter inch phono jacks away and talk about the slider. The slider is one half inch MDF and it's eight inches long by three and a half inches wide. Then we have the top of the case that the slider slides on and this is again half inch MDF 11 inches long by three and a half inches wide. The bottom of the case is quarter inch MDF and is also three and a half inches wide but it is only ten and a half inches long. That leaves us with the two sides of the case. They are mirror images of each other as you can see. A quarter inch MDF and a half inch MDF. The quarter inch MDF measures eleven inches long by two and a half inches wide. The half inch MDF measures ten and a quarter inches long by one and a half inch wide. The case top has a three eighth inch wide slot that's centered on the width and the length. This three eighth inch slot easily accepts the slider which has quarter inch dowels in it and allows the whole sliding mechanism to move forward and backwards. So let's begin the glue up by gluing on the front piece and note that the bottom, that the holes for the front piece are closer to the bottom than they are to the top. Now we're going to glue the back onto the side piece. Now what we have to do is take the other side and glue that on. Now we'll clamp this up. We're going to attach the top of the case to that subassembly. So we're going to put glue all along these ledges. And you notice that the quarter inch MDF on the side protrudes up about a quarter of an inch and this provides a rail for the sliding piece to slide in. So we'll let that all dry. Take the clamps With off. With the case ready to go, we can start building the parts that will allow us to install a linear potentiometer, which is what's going to do the volume controlling. First thing we need to do is to make a locking plate. This plate is quarter inch MDF. It's one and an eighth inch long and one inch wide. It has three holes in it. In the center we have a hole that's three sixteenth inch in diameter. And three eighth inch from either side of that hole we have another hole here. A quarter inch hole. Actually it's not exactly a quarter inch hole. If you look at a regular drill bit set, here's a quarter inch. The one right next to it is just a little bit smaller. In this case it's 15 sixty fourths of an inch. I use this bit to drill those holes. And what that does is it allows me to put the quarter inch dowel in and it's a very tight fit. So I can jam that on there and it'll sit very nicely without any glue or anything. But if something happens and I have to replace something, I can always take it off and I can replace it and then put it back on. Once we drill the locking plate we have to make two of these pieces that hold the linear potentiometer in place. Again what we have is a quarter inch piece of MDF 
and it is one and three eighth inch long by one inch wide and it has a notch in it you can see that notch there and that notch is three eighth inch back and it's about an eighth of an inch in thickness you can either cut it on a saw or you can file it down and then I've drilled a hole I've drilled a one eighth inch hole and that hole is three sixteenth inch back from the edge and then I've drilled another hole that is three quarter inches back from the edge and that's a three sixteenth inch hole now that one eighth inch hole will accept the screw that comes with the linear potentiometer and you notice that it just sits out so there's enough thread so that we can put it on here and tighten this up so what I've done is I found the center of the back of the slider and now I'm going to take the locking plate and line up the center of the center hole with the center point over here and by do when, when I do that I'm going to mark one either one of the outside holes okay so I've drilled the hole now I'm going to take the dowel and push it in and boy that's nice and tight that's great that's exactly what I want and I'm going to push this on like that I'm going to locate the other hole now I've drilled the second hole I can place the dowel in nice and tight and this is the way this is going to work I'm going to take the slider put it in here and then take the locking plate and put the locking plate on and now it slides but I can no longer come out so now we're going to attach the linear potentiometer and if you'll note the linear potentiometer shaft is blunt there and you notice I've just bent it with the pliers and taken the top part off so that this part is all that's left now we're going to take the slider and center the slider so that there's an equal amount of space on each side then we're going to center the shaft of the linear potentiometer and you notice there's a mark here so you can put it right in the center there and place the shaft into the center hole and then we're going to mark we're going to mark where that 1 8 inch cutout ends so I've done that over here and over here and that's the place where we're going to put our one quarter inch MDF spacers. So we're going to put some glue, put the spacer here, and we're going to put some glue on the other one and place it on the line. I'm going to make sure that the shaft is in the middle and this uh, plate is in the middle. I'm going to put the shaft into the hole. I'm going to drill a, a mounting hole for one screw right over I here. I have a half inch long screw. Any type will do. And that's in there. Now let's test it. See if it goes. That seems to be going very nicely. Just want to make sure before I put the other screw in. And we have our movement. And what I've done is set up a, a meter and you'll notice it's reading 96.1 which is about 100k which is what this uh, potentiometer should be and now I'll slide the slider and you'll notice that it's changing it's down to 5, 2, it's down to 0, I've come to the other side now it's going back up as I slide up and it's at 96 so our slider is working perfectly well I've not only painted the unit I've actually put it all together so let's take a look see what it looks like here we have the bottom with the four screws holding it in I put some non-skid bumpers on the bottom here we have the front I made a nice little decal to put on front here I glued that on and then put some lacquer over to protect it put the two quarter inch phono jacks in here's our linear pot and this bottom terminal 
is the one I'm connecting to ground. That's green. The red wire is connected to the input jack right here. And the black wire is connected to the output jack. And between the input and the output jack, I've connected the 100 picofarad capacitor. So that's it. Make a flat top for yourself.